Oh, what am I going to do? You're here! Donald! <laughs> Sora! Goofy! Hiya! Oh! Oh!
This must be it. There's nobody here. Hmm? You mean there's mm. nobody to rescue? <sighs> Did someone say rescue? Oh. Shh. Keep quiet. It might be what? them. Oh, oh, they look like nice boys to me. We are nice. We're your friends. Yeah. Bell sent us to find you. Wow. Whoa. I'm Sora. Donald. Goofy. I am self-winding, sir. I am not goofy. I'm glad you're okay. It is we who are overjoyed to see you. Did somebody put a spell on you guys, too? Yes, that's right. You've heard. It was the Enchantress. It seems so long ago. It was a cold winter's night. An old beggar woman came to the castle and asked for shelter. But the master of this castle, that is, of course, the prince... Stop that! Put me down this instant! Thank you. Uh, hmm.
Is this the spot? I think this will do the trick.
It's time you dealt with Belle. She's scheming to take everything you have. This castle, your precious rose, and then your life. Trust no one. Feed your anger. Only anger will keep you strong. I've had enough of strength. There's only one thing I want. What? To love and be loved in return. Who could ever love a beast? See? She has accomplices. Hey, Prince. Master, uh, you see, that is, how shall I say, uh, actually, um... Well, you put everybody down there in that dungeon. I did what? Uh, you did. Who was that guy you were talking to? The one in black? <gasps> Zaldan. <sighs> That's his name. He came from the darkness. He used my anger to control me. He took all my sorrow, my sadness, my pain, and turned it all into rage. There was nothing I could do. I could no longer see the truth. Well, all be. That must be why you threw all of your friends down there into the dungeon. You wanted to make sure that you didn't hurt them, right? Was that it? Was it to protect them? Sure. We know you're good inside. He's right, Master. We've all seen how kind you can be. After all, Bell can see the goodness in your heart, but I'm afraid you've yet to... Bell. Oh, I've mistreated her. I've mistreated her and been so selfish. She didn't say anything about that. She'd never tell anyone of my cruelty. She's too good. You see, I'm afraid he judges himself far too harshly. Why don't you just go talk to her? But... No excuses! Come on, we'll go with you.
Where are you? 